In this video, we are going to look at multiplying polynomials using area. We are going to only be multiplying two binomials in this video. So remember, a binomial has two terms, 2x plus 1, 2x is a term, 1 is a term, multiplied by another binomial, x minus 4. Okay, so let's take a, let's do a little bit of a review. Uh, let's review multiplying monomials, so one term times one term. Remember that we can rewrite the order of these using the commutative property of multiplication. And then we can multiply the numbers together, so we would get 15 x times x is x squared. But when we're adding, that's the same thing as x plus x plus x plus five more x's added together. So that is 8x altogether. Okay, you're going to need to know that in order to multiply polynomials together. All right, so let's get started. So we can think of multiplication as area because the area of a rectangle is length times width. So we can use rectangles to represent problems that deal with multiplication and division. So in this case, we have a uh, rectangular garden that has a length of 5x and a width of 3x. So 5x by 3x. All right, so just like we said before, the area of this is length times width, so it would be 3x times 5x, which is, we said 15x squared earlier. So that's 15x squared. But what if we wanted to extend the length, it's a different color, or by four, and we wanted to extend the width by two. If we wanted to find the total area, we have three more spaces that we need to find the area for. So let's take a look at this rectangle. So for this particular rectangle, the area of this is 3x by 4. So this over here is also 3x because this side is 3x and that side is 3x and opposite sides of a rectangle are the same length. So this rectangle here is 3x times 4, which would be 12 x. 3 times 4 is 12, and then x times 1 is just x. So then we have this. We wanted to extend the garden by 2 feet. So the area of this rank rectangle is 5x times 2, which is 10x. 5 times 2 is 10 then times x. So then we have this last piece and the length is 4 and the width is 2 so the area of that is 8. So for the total area we have 15x squared plus 12x plus 10x plus 8. You want to look for any terms that you can combine. So 12x and 10x can be combined. So you have 15x squared plus 22x plus 8, and that is your final answer. Okay, 
So let's take a look at uh, another aspect of this. So here was our rectangle, 15x squared, 12x, 10x, and that is eight, okay? So essentially, you we added four on to the length and we added two on to the width. So the length times the width equals our area. So the length is 5x plus 4, and the width is 3x plus 2. And then we said that gave us, what, 15x squared plus 22x plus 8. Okay, let's take a look at another example. All right, let's say we have 2x plus 3 and 2x minus 3. So this is kind of a special case where um, the terms are the same in each binomial, but the signs are different. So the signs between them are different. So you can think of this as 2x plus positive 3, and you can think of 2x minus 3 as 2x plus negative 3. Hopefully that should be coming back to you. So to set up our rectangle, our, let's say that's our length and that's the width, we're going to 2x plus 3, and then we're going to do 2x plus negative 3. And then we would find the area of each uh, rectangle. So 2x times 2x gives us 4x squared. So that's 4x squared. This one, since this is 2x over here, it's going to be 2x times 3. 2 times 3 is 6, and then x. This length is 2x because directly above it's 2x, the opposite side. So 2x times negative 3 is negative 6x. And then our uh, smaller rectangle, three, length and width of three and negative three. So that's negative nine. So altogether, we have four x squared plus six x minus six x minus nine. We have two like terms there, four x squared minus nine. That equals zero. This is what we call a difference of two squares. So I'm gonna take a look at that just for a second. So this is a special kind of situation when you're multiplying two binomials together. When you have, for example, two x plus three, two uh, x minus three, we end up, if you remember back to the FOIL method, if you like that one, we end up with the middle terms canceling out. So 6x and negative 6x would cancel out, and we're just left with 4x squared minus 9. So this is called a difference of two squares. Because the two terms, difference means subtract, and then we have two squares. So those are a perfect square. A square has uh, two sides that are the same. So this would be 2x times 2x, and this 
would be 3 times 3. So 4x squared is a perfect square, and 9 is a perfect square. Okay, so I just wanted to make you aware of that. Um, and that's really all we have for multiplying two binomials. So that's all, folks. Call, text, or email, or Instagram if you have any questions or if you have a video request. I'd be happy to make one for you or go over an example. I will see you soon. Bye.